A cephalohematoma or cephalomatoma is a hemorrhage of blood between the skull and the periosteum of a newborn baby secondary to rupture of blood vessels crossing the periosteum. Because the swelling is subperiosteal its boundaries are limited by the individual bones, in contrast to a caput succedaneum. Causes the usual causes of a cephalomatoma are a prolonged second stage of labor or instrumental delivery, particularly ventus. Symptoms, if severe the child may develop jaundice, anemia or hypertension. In some cases it may be an indication of a linear skull fracture or be at risk of an infection leading to osteomyelitis or meningitis. The swelling of a cephalomatoma takes weeks to resolve as the blood clot is slowly absorbed from the periphery towards the center. In time the swelling hardens leaving a relatively softer center so that it appears as a depressed fracture. Cephalomatoma should be distinguished from another scalp bleeding called subgaleal hemorrhage, which is blood between the scalp and skull bone and is more extensive. It is more prone to complications, especially anemia and bruising. Management, no laboratory studies usually are necessary. Vitamin C deficiency has been reported to possibly be associated with development of cephalomatomas. Skull X-ray or CT scanning is used if neurological symptoms appear. Usual management is mainly observation. Phototherapy may be necessary if blood accumulation is significant leading to jaundice. Rarely anemia can develop needing blood transfusion. Do not aspirate to remove accumulated blood because of the risk of infection and abscess formation. The presence of a bleeding disorder should be considered but is rare. Skull radiography or CT scanning is also used if concomitant depressed skull fracture is a possibility. It may take weeks and months to resolve and disappear completely. See also, caput succedaneum, cephal, chignon, hematoma, subgaleal hemorrhage. External links Differentiating cephalomatoma from caput succedaneum.